Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeek Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about the how we can control the LED using Bluetooth. Okay, now uh, let's start. First, we need to some component and uh, that is okay. First, you uh, you need uh, this Bluetooth module. Okay, link in description. Go and buy. And the second one is your Arduino Uno. Okay, and uh, user one LED. Okay, LED positive pin. I'm connect to the pin number eight of Arduino Uno, and you see this is the pin number eight. Okay. And the, this is the uh, Bluetooth module connections. Uh, okay, first is you uh, VCC. You need to connect to the Arduino Uno, a uh, five volt. Okay, here. And next one is GND. GND connect to the G ground of your uh, Arduino board. And the next one is TXD. TXD pin you need to connect to the RX of your Arduino Uno. This one. And the RX pin of your Bluetooth module connect to the TX of your uh, Arduino module. Okay, this is the interchange. These two terminals are interchanged. Okay, now uh, one. This is the one LED. You need to connect pin number eight. Okay. Yes. Now let's come on the first programming. First, you need to Arduino programming. Let's open the Arduino. And I'm going to create a new series about the Arduino programming step by step, basic to advanced. Okay. Now first, uh, try to understand this uh, program. Okay. Uh, help of int. Int is the data type, and I'm create a variable LED one, and that is connect to the pin number eight of your Arduino board. Next one is int data. Uh, this is simple variable because this variable uh, we are using in the uh, void loop. Okay, that's why I'm declare simple int data. Okay. Next one is void setup. You need to declare the ones. That's why I'm declare serial dot begin nine six double zero. This is the board rate of your Arduino. You know, help of this we can easy to uh, communicate uh, our device uh, to other software, or we can say uh, help of this we can easy to uh, easy to monitor everything. Okay, next one is pin mode. Okay, pin mode LED one. LED one is your this one pin number eight. That is your output. That's why you need to declare here. Next is void loop. It's very important. If serial load available, okay. If your serial monitor is available, like if you, uh, when you open this one, if this serial monitor is available, that time, ah, uh, that time, this condition is execute. This one. Okay, in this condition, I am entering data. This is the variable simple, and equal to serial dot read. Uh, uh, this uh, serial dot data store in this variables. Okay, now when I uh, click to open serial monitor, and right now you see this is the zero value. Zero value store in your this data. Okay, now the condition if your data equal equal a, if your data is equal equal a, that time uh, this LED is on. Like your LED is on. Next, if data equal equal B, that time your this LED is turn off. Okay. In the last, I am entering serial dot printl data. Okay. I want to see what's the output of our data. That's why I am entering serial dot printl data. Okay. This is the delay uh, one hundred uh, milliseconds. Okay. First, you need to verify this one and upload to your Arduino board. I already uploaded. Okay, first you upload this one. Now let's After create a live programming. Let's we are connected uh, our uh, Bluetooth module to our Android device. Okay, now what do you do? Uh, let's right click here and go to uh, Instrument I/O, Visa, and pin this one. Okay, and click to advance and click to open and drag here. Same clause like this, and uh, go to write. And next one is read. Now you need to uh, use this icon only. Now uh, select all and let's modify. Yes, control space and control E. Yes, right click here and create a control. Okay, let's increase the size. Yes. Okay, this is the right. Uh, okay, now create a control. And uh, here, uh, this is right and create a control. Okay, increase the size. Yes, byte count. Okay, and uh, read a buffer. Right, uh, create indicator.
or increase their size Okay, now everything is done. Uh, right click here and go to structure and create a while loop. Okay, and right click create a control. Okay, right click visible and uh, click to label. yes now what we do uh, this is your boolean now double click and you see okay this is your led okay now what you do uh, first open bluetooth let's connect our uh, bluetooth device okay now you see i already connect hc05 this is the name of your bluetooth module okay right now i paired this is open your app okay and click to connect to bluetooth okay and select hc00 hc05 okay right now you see uh, the status is connected and your bluetooth module leds uh, blink very slowly okay that means your module is connected let's um, select the com click to refresh okay first i remove you, uh, my arduino you know okay again reconnect and click to refresh okay let's um, choose com8 and uh, right now i'm uh, right now i'm at here 100 byte count okay uh, first right click and go to timing and wait right click create a constant i'm at 100 okay select com3 and click to run okay now you see right now 98 98 means your led is turn off okay when i click to turn on and you see uh, right now the value is 98 and you see in the hardware your led is turn on okay now wait i will show you and you see your led is on in the uh, bluetooth the value is 97 please remember when your led is on that time give the 97 uh, 97 value okay when i click to turn off okay now right now you see your led is turn off and you see your led is a turn off and the value is 90 Eight. okay 98 again uh, let's have him turn on okay and uh, uh, yes your led is turn on and you see and wait a few second update on your your live view and you see right 97 okay now let's modify 97 means your led is turn on okay i'm at here 97 means your led is turn on okay and 98 means your led is turn off okay like this 97 on 98 off okay now let's create a logic okay right click here and uh, come to comparison and create equal like this like i'm choose this one okay right click and create a constant i meant here if the value is 97 okay right now your led is 97 that time your uh, your led is turn on okay and otherwise your led is turn off okay guys see now what you do let's i uh, remove this one i'm at here 10 okay and uh, this is the 97 uh, okay uh, now click to this one click to refresh okay and uh, remove my arduino again reconnect and click to refresh yes now uh, choose this one okay and click to start okay right now uh, the value is zero okay okay now uh, let's um, click to turn on to my android device okay now let's connect our device hc05 
okay now it's connected okay now let's i'm click to turn on and the uh, led is on and the value is 97 when i turn off and you see value 98 okay let's modify because our led is not glow now what do we do uh, uh i delete this one click to this one right click and create a constant this one okay this is your constant and you need to click and connect to this terminal okay and uh, yes now click to run okay now you see our led is turn on okay now when i click to turn off uh, to uh, my android device and you see our led is turn off in the lab view okay when i click on okay again turn off and you see and you see led is turn off okay again on yes on again off yes on uh, okay off. now you see uh, when i click to on in the lab you turn on as well as our hardware you see our led is on okay now what you do let's i'm turn off this device and you see in the lab view led is turn off as well as our hardware you see okay it's working well okay thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys